Yes. <laughs> Kyle here with um, Kimmy. She's actually one hey. of the people in with me. Yeah, with me. Um, in like our other channel. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, she's one of the one of the people. Okay. Okay. So today, <laughs> oh my God. Hey, stop laughing. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a um, video on like what we recommend reading or like books we recommend and that we already read and stuff so I don't know I actually don't know what title this should be but uh, I don't know I'll just call it what it is okay so I guess I'm just gonna start um, oh gosh okay um, some of you may have heard of this it's actually like the other way it's like mirrored but you guys may have like heard about this because there was a movie that like came out in 2008 I think and um, it's really good the series and I've read until oh I'm right here right now P.S. I loathe And it's really good. It's really interesting. I don't really want to like, um, you know, give out any like details and stuff because I want you guys to read it, and I don't want to like spoil anything for you guys. So, yeah. Okay, Kim, your turn. Just okay. Take turns. <laughs> First book I'll introduce is called "Kiss Me, Kill Me." This one was, like, really good. I actually, um, like, saw it in a Seventeen magazine, I think. And then it had a little description, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Then when I read it, it was actually really good. And there's a second book, which I haven't read yet, because I'm reading one of Kyla's series called The A-List. Yeah, that's, that's a good series, too. And I read the whole series and I loved it oh my gosh especially the last the last three they were pretty awesome oh my gosh but uh, I don't want to okay I don't want to like say anything about it because it, it's up to you guys on like how you're gonna judge it and stuff so okay on to my next book sorry my MSN is on so yeah uh Another series is Mate Dates, the Mate's Date series. And it's really thin, so you know, you'll be able to read it in no time. And um I'm not sure I haven't finished this yet because I'm reading one of Kim's um books. <laughs> okay. This is the first one actually. Um the title is pretty funny because it's Mate's Dates and Inflatable Bras. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's it's a really good one, but then it's the settings, like, in London, so, um, if, if you read, if you actually read this, it might be, like, a different kind of, um, build to it, because, you know, it's not, like, dollars or anything that they use, they use, like, pounds and stuff, I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, okay, and then, yeah, realized from there. So, yeah, it's a pretty good one. It's about four friends, or three friends at first, and then, yeah. So, yeah. Kim, your turn. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, next book is called The Declaration. This one's more like, um, in a futuristic setting, and it also has a second book, which is really good. I'm into these, like, sci-fi and, like, supernatural kind of, like, books, because they're really interesting, and, yeah, the second book to the declaration, oh my gosh, the end is, like, so twisted, but interesting. 
Yep, it's really good. <laughs> Can I borrow that? <laughs> Actually, like, since Kim is, since we are on the topic of, like, supernatural, like, stories and stuff, she lent me, um, the first and second book of Kelly Armstrong. Um, okay, why is my thing, like, mirrored? I don't know why. Oh, well. It's the second one. Awakening. Okay. And then the first one was the summoning, I think. Yeah, the summoning. At first, I was like, what is Oh my what? gosh. What? Wait, I have the third one with me. Ooh. The third one. And it's called The Reckoning. Oh my. At first, actually, when I read the summoning, I was like, what the heck is happening over here? I'm like, what? And then when it when the story went on, I was like really hooked on it and then finished it. I think it was... Yeah, I finished it. Not... Oh, yeah. I don't know, cause I stopped. I mean, I didn't read it when Kim, when Kim uh, lent it to me. So I just read it like a few weeks ago. Yeah. Good. Your turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I have this series called The Uglies, which is like another book like set in the future and it's like about these people like once they turn a certain age they get like surgery to become like pretty and then yeah it's kind of it's like really good and then stuff happens and there's like three books and then there's like an extra one which i don't have yeah. It's really good though. Nice. Um, if you're more yes. of like, if you want to read like a more shorter kind of book, but then it's like in a series too, it's a really thin book because before when I was in like grade, oh grade six or something, this became really popular with like my friends and stuff. So, um, it's called Katie Kazoo Switcheroo. Basically, um, she, you know, she's like a regular girl going to school and stuff, and then, um, apparently everything becomes, like this one, okay, I'll just read you the back. Katie Kazoo is fed up. Everything keeps going wrong. If only she could be anyone but herself. But Katie has to be careful what she wishes for. It just might come true. So... Yeah, and the font's like really large. It's like that much gap, so you'll be able to read this in like a day probably. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't finished it though, like the series. Because I need to find like the other ones. Okay. Okay, this is the last book I have with me, and it's called Skinned. It's another, uh, like, futuristic, yeah, and, um, these people have, like, a technology that, well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like, okay, can I, can I read the back? Will this take long? Okay, I'll quickly read the back to you guys. Okay. Leah Khan was perfect, rich, beautiful, popular, until the accident that nearly killed her. Now she has been downloaded into a new body that only looks human. Leah will never feel pain again. She will never age. She can't ever truly die, but she is also rejected by her friends, betrayed by her boyfriend, and alienated from her old life. Forced to the fringes of society, Leah joins others like her, but they are but they are looked at as freaks. They are hated and feared. They are everything but human, and according to most people, this is the ultimate crime for which they must pay the ultimate price. This one was really good. And, oh, I don't have the second book yet. I don't know if it's out. Oh, that sounds interesting. Okay, I still have um, two more, I think. Yeah, I think so. 
Um, okay, this one's called Art Geeks and Prom Queens by Alison Noel. It's really good. I actually cried for like one part because um, what she said was really like touching and like it's really, it's really re re relatable. If that's a word. Okay, I'll just read the back because there's a synopsis. Okay. Being the new girl is tough. Just ask 16 year old Rio Jones, a New York transplant. Rio has no clue how she's going to fit in at her fancy new private school in Southern California. Plus, being late, overdressed, and named after a Duran Duran song doesn't make the first day any easier for her. Then, Rio meets Christy, beautiful, rich, and a cheerleader. Christy is the queen bee of Newport Beach. And Christy isn't friends with just anyone, so Rio is thrilled when she's invited to be part of the most exclusive, popular clique. Of course, like any club, Christy and her friends have rules. Always smile, even if you don't mean it. Always dress cute and never repeat outfits. And always flirt, but only with jocks, preps, and rich college guys. At first, Rio is having a great time, but as she becomes more immersed in this jet-set crowd, she figures out there is one last rule that her new friends forgot to mention. Don't cross Christy. Yeah. Yeah, so it it's pretty it's pretty good actually. Yeah, it's only one. And I actually forgot the story now. I read it so long ago. <gasps> oh my gosh. And okay, last but not least. Oh my gosh. It's called Click Here by Denise Vega. It's pretty much um it doesn't have a synopsis here, but it's pretty much like like a blog type thing. Wait, I can't remember actually what the story was about. <laughs> oh my. Kyla. <laughs> but it's just like um telling us about this the protagonist's um like life. It's like a diary kind of, but then a blog a blog like layout thing so some pages are like like this so you can read her entry and stuff and yeah it's it's a pretty good book actually but I can't really tell you the details because you know you guys have to read it so yep I think that's about it um Hopefully this video somewhat helps, you know, like suggestions and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.